What's tin loots? It's Strawberry here. Welcome back to another Skyblock Season 2. This is episode 49. Just, I'm, I'm gonna do this while I'm mining some obsidian. Just a brief mention, next episode is episode 50, which is, well, half a hundred episodes. But also, it is Skyblock Special number 5. And every Skyblock Special, what I ask the audience to do is to provide their own challenges they want me to see in this island. It's a way of me interacting with you guys to see what you guys want in the series. So if you want to leave like a challenge for me to do, either say a project for example, a snow farm, or you want me to be limited by some means, for example, uh, no jumping, which is what Carl did in the Skyblock Special number 4, then feel free to just leave it down in the comments uh, as a, an answer to the question of the day and I will for sure get around to doing it, as long as it's reasonable. Like, anything like no wood for the entire episode is a little bit mean. <laughs> it's mean to me and it's mean to everyone watching because it just makes it a little bit less fun. So, if you have any ideas, just feel free to leave them down below. Alright, and torch for symmetri symmetry's sake, and whoop. let's see if this works actually. Ooh. Hey, it connects, nice. Nice job, we can have like the obsidian block. There. <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's get started with the episode. Now, what are we doing today? We are going to be working on the gold farm a little bit more. Oh, before you guys moan, um, I there will be progress done, and I think I have a solution to the fix. So I've I haven't tested it out uh, to about these pigmen. For starters, they are spawning up there, but that's not really an issue. Uh, the issue we found. Oh, dang! I probably shouldn't have my diamond pick. Let me just drop it off for a second. Okay, here's the main issue: the pigmen are not being pushed off by the pistons. And it's a pretty irritating thing to do because there is just there's like no real like th I don't know fix to like make these pigmen being pushed off apart from solid blocks, which isn't if we use solid blocks we can't push solid blocks underneath the tripwire because it changes it changes the uh, what's it it changes the file so right now for example the tripwire is floating but if we put a solid block underneath. The tripwire is supposed to be flat on the block, but since it's not and it can't handle it, it just pops off. So there, we can't use solid blocks to push them off. And then the other thing is we can't put the solid blocks on top or else the baby pigment won't be pushed off. So let's quickly go through here if that's... Okay, that's fine. Ooh, might have to deal with that sometime. Um, what I was thinking is if we get a redstone torch here, to uh, actually, I better just show you. Um, what do you just give me a second, and I will prepare a demonstration for you guys. Ow! Wow! I was not expecting that. I need to be more careful with those ladders. Twenty of death. Uh, dang it. Um, yeah, never's probably the most dangerous place for me at the moment. Oh, where's the portal? It's over here now. Oh, dang. Okay, so what I was thinking was chucking this pigmen farm on a clock using a burnout clock and I thought that uh, with that it would push the pigmen off. However, I think the pulses are too short. So over here, basically when the tripwire is activated, this redstone torch is turned off which allows a clock right here, which is a dust on top of this block, to pulse rapidly and try and shoot the pigmen off. I don't think it's working just... I don't... it's not really working. Oh, does that work? No, that didn't work. Who? Let's see... What sort of clock do we need here? Um... need a repeater going this way into a block. Breaststone and sky block. Don't have any... <sighs> Dang it. I'd hate if a gas spawned up here. Lots of redstone up here. I don't know how to stop him as well. God dang it. I also... Oh, oh I lost my cobblestone slabs uh, during the push. So let me go grab some cobblestone slabs. Actually, while I work on this redstone, I'll probably show you guys the finished result. And while I do that, why don't we answer the question of the day? 
in preparation for the question of the day tomorrow. Well, which is down below. So, answer the question of the day. I'll see you guys in a little bit. <sighs> Parkour. Maybe I should stop. <sighs> Not risking my life during parkour. <sighs> I'll show you the demonstration. I don't think the entire question of the day has been done yet. So we'll probably keep continuing it. Unless uh, I'm doing it later. I'll probably do it later. Did I lose something? Um... Oh, I lost my pick. Dang it. Oh, I've got my food. Food's important. And I think that's about it. Yeah, I lost my pick. I'm losing way too much stuff. Um, I'll show you what's going on, but I think it's working. Uh, actually, what work now? I just uh, put a clock. It's just a normal clock with a repeater. Hopefully, one spawns. Yeah, see it uh, fire twice. So it fire as many times as it can to try and get the pigment out of it. Yeah, it's a lot faster, and it's just that little thing over there. So. We're going to have to build that over every other gold farm right now. So, um, let's just quickly go up here. Yeah, I've got wood slabs. Don't. W <laughs> just saying, from a personal experience, don't waste your life because you're cheaping out on materials. All right. I just want to. I just want to get rid of that wooden slab underneath here. Uh, there's something underneath. Yeah, I just saw that wood slab. I thought it'd be, I thought it was really irritating. Don't waste your life because you're uh, cheaping out on materials. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of it, and let's do the question of the day. Well, actually, I'm gonna go gather some resources. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, let's breeze through this question of the day, which is salt or pepper. Let's do this. Dylan says salt is way better. Tongue face. That's one for salt. Thanks, Dylan. Wildcard says, oh, pepper. That's one for pepper, one against salt. One for one. You've got wildcard on one side, Dylan on the other. Let's go. Alex says, salt. I mean, it's more useful in the kitchen than yours, yeah, white. <laughs> that could be taken in so many ways. Racist or otherwise dirty. Uh, better not. Uh, two for salt, one for pepper. Thanks, Alex. Luna says, pepper, there are enough foods that already have sodium in them. I didn't use a lot of salt in cooking on its own, so that's two for salt, two for pepper, and I don't really cook much, but I would rather have food which has too much pepper than has too much salt. I had omelettes yesterday which were really salty. Yeah, so two for two. Two for salt, two for pepper. Yep, thanks, Luna. Kobe says pepper, three for pepper, two for salt, or oh, two, two, three. Thanks, Kobe. Uh, Alex say, oh no, Alex has already commented. Zoe says pepper, because I like spicy stuff, and it smells nice. You? I've never tried, ever, to smell pepper. Oh my god, that, that nearly rhymed. Because it smells nice. Oh, well, I don't know how you smell the pepper. But thanks, Zoe, for your comment. That is two for salt, four for pepper. Shadow say salt or pepper. That's what the question of today has come to. You could have asked, like, what are your zombie apocalypse plans? Long comment there. But anyway, salt is good for frozen roads and pepper is good for salad. So the real question is salad or roads? And I like food, so I pick salad, aka pepper. Salt is also used for food, so you're wrong, Shadow. Huh? Nah, I'm kidding. But you could also argue that salt is unhealthy and... Like Luna did say down below, oh well, down below on my monitor. Yeah, salt can be unhealthy, so yeah, I agree with Pepper. Two for salt, four for Pepper. Oh, I think it's five for Pepper now. Wow. Sophia says, Happy birthday, Tor. Thanks, Sophia. I'll f I forgot to congratulate you on birthday giveaway. I'll have 16 in a month, so I'm excited. Alright, so if you let me know when your birthday is. I'll probably say hey, happy birthday in the video. That'll be nice. Yeah, birthday's are always good. This is sweet 16 as well. Question of the day, I hate spicy food, so my answer is salt, of course. Sophia, <laughs> nice. And also, I also liked it because she wished happy birthday. Uh, so that's three for salt, five for pepper. Presley says, Torre, I'm back. Oh, and salt, but if you have too much health problems, sad face. Yeah, that's four for salt, five for pepper. Welcome back, Presley. 
Uh, Presley, I actually used to know, so uh, it's kind of cool seeing him back here again. So yeah, and then finally that was it. And then for myself, I personally like salt a lot more than pepper because of chips and whatnot. I know it's unhealthy, but I'm a bit of a salt worm. So that's five for five. So it's equal. I expected more people to like salt than pepper. But I don't know. I guess it's just personal taste. All right, let's get back to the episode, guys. All right, I'm all set. Look, I've got four repeaters, six tripwire hooks, seven redstone. Actually, I'm not all set. I need some string and uh, what else do I need? Uh, more stone bricks. Oh, well, I was nearly all set. But hopefully we can get the layout sorted. And then we don't have to worry about it for episode 50. Because I've got some good things planned for episode 50. Which I couldn't talk about now. I did talk about that last episode, but a stone cube farm, so a stone generator, which would be a lot... Oh. Yeah, I'll just keep that redstone on there. And string. Um, yeah, stone cube farm, which is a stone generator con uh, con well, connected to a, a storage system with pistons. I think it would be very expensive, but it would be a very awesome thing to have because it would just make mining cobblestone a lot easier make it a lot faster as well and the other thing I want to do is the oasis uh, the oasis if you guys don't know is an island which someone su uh, suggested in episode uh, Skyblock special number 4 episode 40 uh, build an oasis with a giant tree and lagoon and water and all of that so we uh, do I have any yeah I have copstone slabs on me we're going to be doing this now oh there we go Let's see. Let's build one on camera. I think we could do a very, a fairly quick. It goes there. Maybe not. Maybe not so quick. I'm so scared of falling because I've got some really expensive items on me right now. Okay, so let's break that. Break that. That goes up there. It goes there. Um, let's see. Cobble. Oh my god, I left stuff over there. Let's go pick it up. Oh, that's what I wanted to collect when I fell last time. Uh, let's just collect it like that. I was about to fall it for it again. Oh dear. Um, let's do it quick. Um, another stone brick there. With a restone torch. Restone repeater on two ticks to redstone dust and then whenever that's activated it should activate yep that works and then we have a corpse and slab right there and like so I think that should be it huh we're done I want to do that four more times so when we get enough pistons we can fully complete this well, fully complete it, as in just nah, not fully complete it. Oh, okay, I break that. That should be fine. Nothing there. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of these off camera, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'll join you guys for the Oasis building fairly soon. All right, so I've done a little bit more. Uh, just progress update. Done a little bit more. Um, I did not anticipate how much redstone dust I needed, so I'm gonna go back for some more. Huh? Oh, valuable stuff. But yeah, it's coming along, it's coming along. I I think it's going to be turning out great. Oh, dang, it's snowing. And it's also day... It's already day 46. I think it's day 46. Where's the redstone? No, the redstone... Oh, the redstone's in my ender chest. Because I can. No. Um, The gold farm should probably be done this episode if we have the resources, but it's coming along. Just need all of you redstone remaining, which could be a very bad idea to hold all of it on me. Actually, let's store everything we don't need. We don't need that repeater. Uh, let's chuck that in there because I can. And string. Also, two tripwire hooks. Yeah, at least we're getting some good gold. Like, two gold ingots. Hopefully this should be enough if we hang around in the never base. Oh, well, day 147 already. We're getting closer and closer. Hopefully we can finish this and we can call it like the gold farm episode or something. Unless uh, I've already done that. Hmm. 
All right, it's complete. I think. Well, up here anyway. What happens? Just a closer up. Uh, since we have no pistons here, we might hit some later. But look, one piece of redstone. We only have one piece of redstone dust total. But this clock goes on, so when that torch is off, that torch is uh, when that torch is off, that torch turns on, and then it powers itself over and over again until it's a clock. And then, like so. And then, otherwise, it's just disabled like that. And that's basically the layer of down here. Oh, did I break a string? Okay, didn't break a string, that's good. Uh, that's the same with down here as well. It's just that it's hidden and it's also got pistons on it. <sighs> Definitely need to go get some more redstone, but... For now, I think we're good. Let's see the spawn rates. You can do it, piggies. Oh. Two? Two entities? Where's the other entity? Oh, must have left an item up there. Alright, one sec. Possibly the slowest gold farm ever. Oh, well, we've only got two spawning rows anyway. Oh, there we go. There are some. Ooh. Oh, nice, at least we're getting some profit out of it. Oh well, job success. Ish, maybe, a little bit. And we got gold as well. Nice. Let's get back to the other world. Oh, we're doing this, we're doing this. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go, here we are. Yeah. There we go. Oh, where, where'd the torch go? Give me my torch back. Alright. That was a little bit silly. Uh, let's grab that. Yeah, I like the sticks. Now, now that we've done the gold farm... I think we should work on the oasis a bit more. Let me uh, let me show you guys while some stuff is heating up. Some more potatoes and some more charcoal and all of that. Right, so over here, this is the oasis. Well, what it is so far. I'm not sure what else to build it of apart from oak planks. I don't really want to build it out of stone. Although it could be alright. I'm not sure about don't think uh, planks are all right for the moment. I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Well, we will have some grass over here, and then we'll have a pond over here. Problem I had actually, uh, I was planning to do this for the skull block uh, special number. What's it? Do we have another block? Yeah, we have another block. Um. We need another block over here so it won't freeze on me when I try to go underneath. Let's go like that. Um, I was planning to do this for the Skyblock special number 4, but that was also the no block challenge. Uh, no jump challenge, and you can't, you can't exactly jump with water. So that was a major pain to try and achieve. So we'll probably uh, flatten this pull out now I can't I can't convert a big slab into two slabs all right let me go grab the resources and I'll jump back over there also might want to build a giant tree as well if you guys are wondering why there's so many snow golems down here it's because there's a corrupted chunk with an old snow farm and I don't know the old snow farm keeps coming back plus an extra snow golem I'm not trolling you guys but we haven't visited this lime farm in a really long time. I was actually up there, um, you can see where I was working, and I looked down and I saw these slimes, and I was wondering, hmm, how, how has the slime farm been going? And there's nothing going too badly. Oh, more slimes. I'll take those slimes. Not been going too badly. Been getting more slimes at least. Hey, how's it going? Problem is, we don't really need any of these slime blocks, so let's try and cut some of these down. So the slimes generally, like the big slimes which are down there, generally don't allow any other slimes to exist, except for, no, if there's a big slime in here, it just barricades like all of the other slimes from doing anything. I think they only spawn when we're in a certain range of them. Uh, certain range of his farm, which does make a lot of sense. Alright, I'll join you guys back up there.
So, yeah guys, um, what do you think of my swimming pool? Oh, don't mind the eyes, sir. <laughs> no. We are going to have to fix it. I don't know what we're going to do for it, but I... It's, gonna, it's a major pain. It's going to be a major pain trying to fix like the ice. What I'm thinking is if we build a giant enough tree, we can have the leaves over the swimming pool. Well, whatever like pool this is, a fishing pond or whatever. I'd rather have that than... I'd rather put leaves over it than anything unnatural. Just so we can keep this as natural looking as possible. Thanks for the torch. Boop. Let's grab this. But yeah, it's coming along, it's coming along. Oh. 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 Let's break that. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Seriously, I hate getting it. I hate doing this. There we go. Whew. Ooh, I actually like it. I like it. Oh, let's get rid of that. Yeah, it looks rather nice. We could even... Uh, we probably should start shifting some of the grass over to there. Maybe if we get silk touch. But I'm thinking for the tree... Yeah, okay, there's some stuff over here. We could have the tree kind of like growing into here. So maybe a tree root which is growing in like that. Oh, well, we'll actually remove that and have it straight. But have it kind of natural with the pool. And... I don't know, I'd really like to make this a big tree, but I don't know. I'm not, I haven't never built a tree before in Minecraft. Like a, like a big custom made tree. So I don't know how we would do this. I don't know, I'm thinking maybe the tree over there as well. Hmm. I don't know, let me mess around with it. Because I don't think there's enough time in this episode to mess around with the tree on the episode. I will say time again, thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode. We actually got some stuff done, we've finally got the gold farm basically completed. We don't have to visit it again until we get the piston sorted. So that was really good to work out. And we are starting on a new tree, which I'm actually kind of enjoying, like, starting to make look a little bit more natural. Oh, let's make that straight for the moment. We can do all the twisty stuff later on. I don't, I don't want to leave. I want to record the next episode, but I can't because I'd rather wait for your advice and your feedback and also your question of the day comments. So, yeah, we're going to have to cut it short here. I'm very sad, but what can we do? Cheers for watching, guys. Take it easy. Have a good day. See you next time. Uh, look out for episode 50. Oh my god, that's actually looking really good.